My special guest is from New York City. He's a fellow actor. He's Alex Saposnik. Alex, how we doing, man? Hey, Chris. Wow, I'm seeing that the uh, 2020 of uh, being locked in really might have gotten a hold of you here. Been a year, man. I This is what's happened to me. I've become a mad scientist. <laughs> you look like the villain from Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, yes, Robotnik, my favorite. I'm going to take these off because I can't see you very well. Okay this year has affected the acting careers for all of us. It's affecting going out and being social. I noticed for me that it, it's been affecting just trying to date. I do these online dating sites. I do one and it's like the cleanest one that you can do that you don't have, that you don't have to pay for. Okay. It's the safest one. You know, it's the one that you want relationships for. And I'm not going to mention them until they start sponsoring the show. It's Hinge. <laughs> you, just, you just mentioned it. Boom. That's a good one. When I was uh, back, when I was single, that's the one I used. It was it's clean, like you said, clean. It's uh, it's like user friendly, and people are serious on it. When you go out, you don't know if that person has COVID or not. Like <laughs> that's a new one. <laughs> Recently, I did Tinder. Somebody told me that Tinder is clean now. It's safe. It's uh, it's not just for one night stands. Really. I lasted about two days. It's the same as it ever was. Match.com was the last one I used. Ooh. Um, which is the best one I ever used besides Hinge. I'm guilty of putting on my Tinder and Bumble my Instagram account because I wanted to get followers, but also <laughs> I want them to see, I want them, the, the ladies, I wanted the ladies to see um, what I looked like and what I posted. You know, this is my personality. You can only post six pictures or five. Right. And I want them to see who I am. So, you know, come to my Instagram page. But yeah, guilty. Confessional Chris here as well. I do have my Instagram on my hinge for the same idea. It's a safety thing. And actually, I got a message today on my Instagram from somebody on hinge who said, I didn't have enough likes yet left, but I saw that you posted your profile, just giving this a shot. And I was like, good for her. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's going to work out. <laughs> Why not? Because I didn't see her on Hinge, but now we're Instagram friends, so we'll see what happens. Um, enough about me. Do you have any uh, any blind date, first date nightmares? I met this girl actually at a bar. She, you know, she seemed really cool. She seemed like she was down. You know, she was with her friend, and she probably went through something. And we had, we had a blast or whatever. I, she's like, I don't dance. Who doesn't dance? I was like, I dance. Let's let's dance. But then talking to her more and more, she told me that she doesn't listen to music. I don't know if I could ever be with someone who doesn't listen to music. I don't watch movies. And I was like, well, I was like, not at all. She's like, not really. Some strict religions like don't allow you to watch movies or listen to music. She she's not. She wasn't like okay. that. Wasn't it? She just like does. She's like, I just don't. We were all leaving the bar, like me and my friend and her friend. She's trying to come to my apartment. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. But I just moved. I have no furniture. And I mean, like, no furniture. I don't have a bed. I'm trying to tell her, I'm sorry. I don't have a bed. She's like, you spend the whole night with me and you don't want me to fucking come over. What the hell is wrong with you? She's like, I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. And I'm like, yes. Uh, I mean, yes, you are. And I was like, I don't have a bed. I just moved. I don't have a bed. Wow. She, she doesn't believe me. You bump into her down the line or no? <laughs> she on that note, I'm going to send it off to our musical guest. Uh, they're back for a second week in a row, which is unheard of. They are the Lucha Librarians and the Princeton Street Sixes performing a New Year's tune. <laughs> Yeah, tell me. I moved from Nashville to Miami last year. I'm staying with my brother and his wife. They get me a job at their restaurant. I meet a very nice girl uh, who works at the restaurant as well. We hit it off. We're doing Google Translate. About two weeks into me living in Miami, I 
Uh, I asked her if she wants to go grab a drink after our shift. She said there's a really famous pizza place about five miles down the road. It's around midnight that night and I'm really excited and I'm nervous. The place is called Steve's Pizza. It's well known in Miami or maybe Danny's. It's so well known that I don't remember the name of it. There's like a lot of writing on the wall, a lot of graffiti. It looks like a punk rock pizza place. And I'm looking at the slices and I was like, all right, these look like New York, New Jersey slices. Let's go. The place is very small again. And I hear a rapid knocking on the back door behind where these guys are flipping pizza. And it's going so fast, this knocking on the door. She hears it too. Another customer walks in and he's like, oh, somebody just got shot outside the restaurant. And the guy was like nonchalant about it. Right after he said it, he walks up to the counter and he's like, I'm gonna get two slices to go, a medium Coke. I'm trying to explain to her, somebody just got shot. Other customers get wind of this and they're like peeking their head out the window. And sure enough, there's a man on the ground, like bleeding to death. And then a car speeds off. There's just a dude bleeding right, right outside of Steve's pizza. I don't remember how the pizza was. I don't know if it was good or not. I'm really upset mostly that you don't remember what the pizza was like because finding a good pizza place outside of New York, New Jersey is very tough. And if I'm out there, would love to know. But do you think that that was just a, I'm sure people don't get shot over there all the time. It wasn't uh, even like a bad area either. It was just on like a busy highway. Did you go on a second date with her? Yeah, it didn't work out, Alex. It must have been the shooting and the pizza, something to do with both. It definitely was her, not me. Uh, <laughs> but we, we hung out a few times, but nothing momentous, monumentous, monumental, monumental, nothing monumental. <laughs> I don't know if that's right. That's definitely it. How do you feel about the city? The city now or the city prior to COVID? In general, on the, the grand scheme of things, living there as an adult, uh, ch chasing the dream, doing the dream. Everyone goes to New York for the dream. In terms of the dream and film and TV and theater, uh, New York is the place to be. I haven't been to LA. I'm wearing an LA New York shirt. Ooh, fresh. I haven't been to LA yet, so I don't know how it is. I know Peter's out there. Hey, Pete. Shout out to Pete. Pete, is it Ferrero or Ferriero? It's Ferrero. I miss you, Pete Ferrero. He's not on the show. I don't know why you're saying that. Because he's going to watch it later. You probably could just text him. I'll text him later. It's fine. I don't want to talk to him right now. I miss him, by the way. I miss you guys. I miss you and I miss Pete. In previous roles, you and I have been best friends. But in this role... We kind of hate each other. Hey, Joe, why don't you chill out for a few? Hey, Wally, why don't you take a one-way ticket to Wally World and go fuck yourself? Hey, man, did you not hear what I just said? I think I heard you just fine, fuckface. Hey, hey, do one of you want to rein this asshole in? Alex, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for having me. Chris,